Hi, Ken from Tannybit Repair Guide. So how do you check one of these bridge rectifiers? Well, it's pretty simple. What it really does, you know, is that it changes AC to DC. So when you look at the rectifier, it will typically have a plus and a minus printed into the rectifier. Those two indicates where uh, the DC power is coming out. So first of all, you will check if there is power going to the rectifier. First of all, just to see if there's anything wrong with it at all. So like, here's a fluke meter. You'll put it into this mode right here, alternating current volt, and then you'll put it into the regular uh, slots just like this. And what you will do is that you will find the AC input and that's usually the ones that's not marked with anything or it will say like AC on them and then you measure across here and you should measure your incoming voltage from your service like say if there was a transformer there it might be something different than the lines coming in but you measure some kind of AC voltage and then you can look maybe in your schematics to see if there's a transformer in there and if it makes sense with the voltage that it's giving out. Next thing, so let's say that you did have, you know, let's say that you had um, a 50 volt transformer down here and this you measured the 50 volts here. So that makes sense. You have voltage coming in but still nothing is working. Then what you will do is that you take the meter and turn it up into DC because that's what's coming out of the rectifier after this. And then you measure here on your plus and minus, your plus and minus. And actually I turned it the wrong way. So plus should be the red one and black on the... Um, on the minus because then you get you should be getting the, uh, the right polarization so the meter will say without a minus out here that uh, the voltage so if you have nothing coming out of it like if you measured your AC voltage right here and it was uh, and it was fine it was coming in and you measure nothing on your plus and minus yeah, then then it's uh, burned off and you will need to replace it. But before you replace it, you should definitely check the circuit out in your DC circuit to make sure that there is no um, uh, short circuit of some kind. And you can do that. For example, if you kill the juice on the entire tanning bed to measure the DC resistance, like up here, and then measure if there's something there is short circuiting all of it and that's why the rectifier is being blown to smithereens. Ken from Tanning Bit Repair Guide and Rectifiers. Take care guys.